Hello everyone, it's Mother's Day, May 9th. This morning it was in the 40s. Been in the 40s the last few mornings. Several more days coming up. So, good little while before we'll be able to be planting any ginger or turmeric. But that doesn't mean you don't have to get started with the plants. Now, historically, I've started ginger by putting plants in the dirt and waiting and praying. There's one little shoot. Uh, I don't know what that's going to do. You know, you can see my little pieces of ginger. Not much happening. And that's usually what it is. is it takes me forever to get plants. Well, I watched this video from this and I, I apologize to her. I, I, I don't remember who it was. But her idea for starting ginger was like put it in a container, a damp container, in a hot, warm spot, and just let it do what it wants to do. Look at this. Look at all the starts. Look at all the little eyes coming out. Incredible. Now, a few weeks ago, I picked some of these and planted them. And as you can see, they're taking off. So, I did nothing except dampen them, cover them up, put them in the dark, let them, sp little eyeballs sprout, cut some pieces off and planted them, and I got plants. Over here in the normal way people tell you, cover them in dirt and wait, I got nothing. So, I'm going to get nine more of these going here. And, and look at, I mean, this is beautiful. So, I'm going to cut it. Cut it, cut it, put this one back, cut, and just pull that one off. Even these little pieces, look at that. Lady, you have saved me. It takes me forever to get ginger going. And you showed me the no-brainer way to do it. That is like no effort. Except trying to cut yourself with a knife. Oh, and this is still this is my ginger from last year. And it's still doing just fine, thank you. We haven't eaten these since last night. And now, I'm going to put this back in. Cover it up again. And let it make some more. So now I've got nine more pieces here. I'm going to keep that little eye paw sticking up. And if it ever warms up, my ginger is going to be ready to go. Because I just barely get a long enough season for ginger. So this delay time here is tough because it shortens my season. So I've got to cheat and get ginger going before I put it out to try and save myself some time. So. And that looks like a winning method. They're going to remember, here's my normal way. I got one little, one little sprout right there. That's it. Absolutely nothing happened. And I got plenty of ginger in here, as you can see. So, that's the, uh, the new way I found to start ginger. And trust me, this is a winner. Uh, Bless the lady on YouTube that put it up. Wish I knew who she, remembered who she was. Uh, if I find her, I'll definitely subscribe and 
and give her credit for this because it's an outstanding method. This is David at Grow and Eat This. Get your ginger planted. Need to get some turmeric going, don't I? I don't see any. Thank you for watching.